Welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. It's Social Media Monday. You know, Gen Z loves to record any and damn everything. That even includes when they get booted from the job. One woman posted the moment she was laid off from her work, her job, her work. Take a look. We have an important meeting today. Uh, we faced our evaluations of 2023 performance. This is where you have not met Cloudflare expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. We're not able to go into specifics, and we won't, there's no situation where we will be able to go into Do you guys even know? Do you guys even know, like, why, like, who you're talking to each day? Like, for every single 10, 15 minutes, do you guys even know who you're talking to? Like, why you're letting these people go? So what's the reason behind this? Joining us to talk about it tonight, social media expert here on The Factor, Karen Diamond. First of all, do you think that's real? Yeah, that's 100% real. Okay. Um, in, in that so you, you get sassy once you know you're going to be terminated and you have the audience watching. It was it was cringy. I didn't I didn't want to see, you know, it unfold like that. I thought her reaction was very, very... Um, abrupt and off-putting like you know you're getting the can ma'am mm -hmm. like just let's get it over with but she was retaliating and 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 coming back and arguing with them and it was I think you know she was trying to be righteous but I think like it was the wrong time and the wrong people like she's getting laid off let's just get it over with so if you're going into a meeting how do you know you're being terminated obviously you know if you're a bad employee right but that, you, she was arguing for that she mm -hmm. was saying like I'm not a bad employee I think in this in this case scenario it was just mismatched she was working for the wrong company and unfortunately you know in 2024 having a job that's a privilege um, because we're under going a lot of layoffs she worked in the tech industry she knew all her buddies got laid off that day they all got called <coughs> into a 15-minute meeting and she knew that she was next so she just had a camera set up um, I, I do think that you know the generation of Gen Zers they grew up on TikTok and they grew up documenting their life um, but but that also could make some employers distrust you and you know if an employer is looking to hire you and they see oh this person posts their layoff and yeah. everything you know it could create some let's not go in that some direction. discomfort there also <laughs> trending tonight Karen Beyonce's Texas Hold'em on TikTok many people are using the song to speak out against Texas's ban on abortion your thoughts on that it's pretty tricky um, you know I think people are gravitating towards that uh, this ain't Texas, and so they're leaning on that to just showcase everything that's not permissible or permissible in Texas. So, just like in Texas, it's illegal to have an abortion. Um, maybe some people are making a mockery of like, "Oh, you're knocked up." Well, this ain't Texas, and they just pull out their credit card. So, some people are just leaning on that particular mm -hmm. phrase of the song, but we don't exactly know what it means. A lot of people are commenting and saying that, you know, this ain't Texas, ain't no hold them so lay your cards down and, and and just start dancing that's really what the 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 meaning behind that you know messages and I'm sure Beyonce never foresaw anything like this no you no know? no and uh, absolutely not I think people are just I don't know if that is gonna pick up steam you know right. or go viral or trend but no that's not what Beyonce meant Beyonce wanted us to dance okay yeah, exactly. Also, Texas Hold'em is just huge on the app. There are thousands of videos on TikTok showing people doing a line dance to the song. Mm-hmm. Thoughts? I love it. I love it. Okay, so I haven't heard the song in five minutes. I thought you were going to play it for me. I <laughs> yeah, thought you I thought were going to sing it to me. Too. I was like, hold on. It's been five minutes since I heard that song. I think it is the latest sensation on social media. There's 71.6 million views of related topics on TikTok alone. So right over the weekend, it just it just took off. And now people are, are doing it. It's I love that this is kind of like the good side of social media. We always talk about the good and the bad. This is the good. It's getting people dancing, getting families it's together, fun. getting friends together. This is fun. This is wholesome TikTok, wholesome social media. Do you think we will ever see Beyonce in the near future perform Texas Hold'em? And should Texas be the first place 
she performs it. 100%. I, I'm holding out. Wait, I'm holding out for Bum B's thing. Same, same. I really think he that... He hasn't announced all the acts yet. Right. He's saving... Maybe he's saving the best for last. I got to get my tickets. I got to get my Bum B <laughs> tickets when I get home. Let's see what happens. Let's yeah, see what I'm happens. Yeah, I'm excited for that. All right, Karen. Always good to see you here on The Factor on Sensor.